Hi everybody, Neon here of course. For Christmas I got a pound of cheddar cheese powder and I, I want to try this out. I, I figured the best way to try it out though was out in the woods somewhere. So I'm going to go on a little hike today and I'm going to take these two packs of grits and I had in my freezer some dehydrated shrimp and dehydrated bell peppers and we'll put some garlic powder and some black pepper in there and we'll eat that for lunch today somewhere hopefully on the Watery River. So this is the Farmstead Road trailhead of the Watery Passage of the Palmetto Trail. So I'll be starting here at Farmstead Road. Looks like the trail goes about three miles parallel to that road. Um, hoping to eat lunch here at the Watery River and then I'll turn around and hike back. Well, I was afraid this might be the situation. It had rain a lot this week. I'm not sure how I'm going to get across that. Maybe I'll see if I can get up to the road. don't really want to get my feet wet when it's 40 degrees. That deer is dead. It has a rope tied to its leg. I did get my feet wet. So we'll do a little road walking here. See if I can get past that water. Back on the trail. And here about a mile and a half or two down the trail, I found an old church. Some of these tombstones go back to 1940s. I don't know, what do you think? This section's been logged and planted. Nice row of oaks lining this old roadbed. Must have been important at one point. Oh, look at that. Looks like somebody's little picnic area. Might have water. Also has a sign that says no trespassing. I'll keep walking. Don't want to get shot. It's a good thing I'm wearing neon. Well, look at there. That's a little bit of engineering. I get to enjoy for a little while. Look, we're backwards here. The trail came out of the woods right there and crossed that main track that I was walking along. And this is an old spur that's not connected anymore. Goes off into the woods. And trail marker right yonder indicates I've got to go along this old train track. I'm surprised they haven't pulled up the steel. Should be interesting. This is really pretty cool. They have pulled up the rails from this point on. And I reckon that's a group of people right there. Well, one hour and 50 minutes from the trailhead and I have made it to the Watery River. Pretty wild. That group of people back there, there was somebody I knew, well, somebody I met last weekend, uh, the first hike at Sesquicentennial State Park. Where, wonder where I'll see her next. But here we are on the Watery River. Mighty Watery. And there's the power station over there. Here's what it looks like going downstream. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Find me a place to eat lunch after I check out this boardwalk at this other end. That wasn't here a couple years ago. I had to walk through the marsh to get here. I 
I'm tempted to just see where that goes, but that's not part of my itinerary. I left at home. I said I was going to turn around right here, but maybe I'll at least walk a few feet out onto it and see what's at this open spot right here. A sundial. Which highly accurate indicates it is 12 o'clock. I'm gonna go set up my lunch. It's really pretty simple. Get the stove out. Put a little cup full of alcohol fuel in it. This is my little cone windscreen. And I'll just put some water in the pot. Bring that to a boil. And I think I'll put it about three cups in there, which is about two thirds of the way up, I think. After I scoop out a cup of hot water to make my coffee, I'll dump this mixture in there. It's my shrimp and cheese grits. There's about maybe two or three tablespoons of that cheese powder in there. Uh, it was a half a pound of shrimp before it was dehydrated and about a half a cup of peppers that were dehydrated. And I might put the recipe down in the bar below. See what this tastes like. Pretty good. Mm. I would eat this again. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat all of this. Time to clean up. Nothing like sump water. 